Hi, friends. I'm Becky Hello. Keith, Encourage Community Manager, and I'm here with my new friend, Carrie Cristancho. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Um, Carrie has a brand new book out with Dayspring that I'm so excited to share with you today. It is called Whatever is True and Lovely. Okay, can you guys see this like rose gold foil? Is that what it's called, Carrie? It is so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's like a coppery. Yeah, she did yes. a great job. Yeah, it's it, this is a devotional guide. Um, before we get into what this is all about, um, Carrie, we just introduce yourself. I know that you are the founder um, and creator of True and Lovely Co. Tell us about that and just help our friends get to know you a little bit better. Yeah, so my name is Carrie. Um, I live right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, with my husband and our daughter. Uh, I like she said, I'm the founder, content creator, whatever you want to call it, of True and Lovely Co., um, which is an Instagram account. Uh, there's also a website, but primarily everything I do is on Instagram. And it's just a place where I share what the Lord is teaching me in my Bible studies. Uh, it started as a place for me to just kind of brain dump as I started to dig into the Bible deeper. And now it has grown to what it is now, which is insane to me. Uh, but a lot of it is really just me kind of navigating through scripture and sharing what I learn. And I've really loved, I mean, I've loved doing it. Uh, it's sustainable for me because it's something that is personal to me. It's something I would do whether two people follow it or nobody would follow it. Right. Um, and yeah, that's just some, some really cool things with it. And this devotional guide is definitely one of those things. It's surreal still to me honestly so that's so awesome okay so I should have started with this is that today friends we're going to be talking about well what Carrie's passionate about is Bible literacy right and making mm -hmm. studying God's word accessible not so scary um and really that's what truly true and lovely co is all about um as well mm -hmm. as this new devotional guide so I would just love to hear Carrie like how I, you know, I've read a little bit about your story. I know that you wouldn't, you call, you would now call yourself um, a Bible nerd, but that wouldn't have always been the case. How did you start on this journey of really learning not to just, you know, regurgitate scriptures that you memorize as a child, which are, you know, good, like God, it's good to hide God's word, God's word in our heart, but how did it become more personal or meaningful? Why did you want to learn to really study the Bible? Yeah. So I grew up going to church. Like I, we were in church Sunday mornings, Sunday nights, Wednesdays, we did Awanas. Like we did all, all the things we were super plugged in, in our church. Um, and it was probably, I think it was early 2019 that I was like, I don't really know the Bible. So mm -hmm just to kind of rewind a little bit. So I grew up in church and then kind of fell off in my faith. And I always believed in God. There was never like a faith crisis or anything like that, but I definitely uh, did not go. I didn't go to church. I didn't study the Bible, anything like that. After my daughter was born, it was pretty traumatic. And mm. just, there was a lot of stuff going on with that. And God was clearly like, Hey, I'm in this for mm. your good. And I was like, okay. And so after she was born, my husband and I started going to church and we were like, okay, you know, we started getting plugged in and we started going to small groups and all of that, but I still felt very behind, I guess. I mm. was learning things that I felt like I should have known already having been in church my whole life. And yeah. so early 2019, I was like, well, I'm just going to study it. And I don't know mm. what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it. So I did. And I, I started just in the word. And then I read a book uh, called seamless by Angie Smith. That was like, mm -hmm. like, it was so good. And after that, I was like, well, I need to find all of these threads throughout the Bible on my own. So I just started mm -hmm. studying the Bible in a way that kind of helped me see the overall biblical narrative of it. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, wow, the Bible is super cool because <laughs> I think it's really easy for us to disjoint Yes. the old Testament from the new Testament and, uh, you know, God in the old Testament is angry while Jesus in the new Testament is kind, like all of this stuff. And mm -hmm. we have to remember that we're all talking about the same God. It's all the word of God. It's just mm -hmm. time periods, right? Old covenant, new covenant, all of that. And so as I was reading 
the more I read, the more I got excited about getting into it and figuring out kind of how everything is connected and what it all means. And through that, God really just kind of revealed to me like who he is and why he loves us and why he wants a relationship with us and why he wants us to be in his word. And so just throughout all of that, that's when I kind of started posting just to kind of sort everything out. And I realized quickly that it wasn't just me who felt like the Bible was really complicated Mm -hmm. and scary. And Mm -hmm. if you don't know it by a certain point, then don't even worry about it. It doesn't matter, but that's not the case. And so that's when I was like, okay, more people like need to understand that the Bible does not have to be complicated. Yes. There is a lot of hard stuff in there. And there's a lot Mm -hmm. of stuff that it's going to take time to understand, but it doesn't have to be as intimidating as I think a lot of us feel it should be. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, ever since that, ever since I kind of got past that hump, I've been like trying to, uh, my mission is teach, encourage and equip. And so I want to do those things so that other people also know and understand that like, it might be hard, but like, you can do it. It's not for any specific type of person. Anybody can study the Bible and uh, you just have to start and here's how, you know? So, yeah, yeah. I love that so much because I love that you were like, saw a need and you didn't wait until you're like, okay, well, I'll go to seminary and then I'll learn how to study the Bible, or I will, you know, spend hundreds of dollars in resources and then I'll study the Bible. Like you just started. And I think that that's like what Mm -hmm. I've discovered too, is like God's word is alive and active and Mm -hmm. yes, it's complex, but understanding it doesn't have to be complicated that like it, it is accessible to us. Like that's why God gave it to us to, to understand and digest and, and apply to our lives. And, um, you have an article on encourage, um, this week, which I love. And in that you talk about like, just, I love that you go to the foundation of like, well, well, why, why should we study scripture? Like, why is it important? And one of the things that you mentioned, and guys, I, I really encourage you to go over to encourage, we'll link it. Um, make sure you read Carrie's article. But one thing you talked about, talk about is that it helps us understand the character of God, who mm-hmm. he is. And like you mentioned before, like that, who he is, um, in Genesis is the same in revelation. Like it, there's, there's this narrative, this greater story, and we get to see different, how, how God's character plays out in all these different historical contexts, but like, he is the same God. And if you mm-hmm. friends are struggling or like, I'm not, I'm not sure it still feels really disjointed. Like, I just want to encourage you guys to get Carrie's book, follow her on Instagram, because like we can understand it. Um, Okay. Get a little passionate about this with you because I think it's, <laughs> no, me too. So, me too. It, it's so important. And I mean, I feel like I was, yeah, I was in my thirties when I really felt like saying, I kind of have a similar story. Like I grew up in church and, and it wasn't until just the past few years that, that I'm like, Oh, I, I, I get excited about the old Testament now. Like one of my favorite verses is an Exodus. And I never thought that I would, you know, say right. that very comfortable in like, in James, you know, in, in Romans. Um, so what else, okay. Walk us a little bit through how, how this devotional guide is, is set up and how people use it. Cause it, guys, okay. It is yeah. beautiful. This is by our friends at day spring, you know, encourage is part of the day spring family. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. There is journaling space. There are these gorgeous photographs, which I won't be able to find as I'm flipping. You do tell us about this. What is this then? Yeah. Yeah. So these, I started doing these on Instagram, maybe like two years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, and I essentially, so it started just taking passages that are taken out of context and I pulled them out and like dove into them explaining what they actually mean I think the first one I did was like Philippians 413 because I was like this is not about tests and sports it's about being able to do anything in hard times because the Lord is our like sustenance essentially um and so but people just really were like wow this is cool um and it helped me for sure you know it helped me dig into things and so I kept posting them every once in a while and Um, one of the things that was really important to me in this book was to sort of kind of walk through the book and then get to what, how those are incorporated and then 
a majority of most of the beginning of the book is about how to study scripture, why to study scripture with a heavy, heavy emphasis on making sure that we're interpreting it first before we're applying it. Yeah. Because that's where we pull things out of context really easily. We have to see what it meant to the original audience before we can relate it to us. Um, and so I talk about that a lot. And that's primarily what a lot of these prompts are that are in here. So you'll have a devotional and then you'll have the actual scripture in the guide. Um, I have my copy here too, because I am working through it and I'm reading this. I'm like, wow, I didn't know I read that. Good job. Right? Is that, like, is that, is that the best? <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. Um, but so in here, there's like the actual scripture and then there's margin lines for you to take your own notes. And then there are reflection questions that are meant to help you get to the original context and then proper application. Mm. And so then after that, sometimes before there's a verse breakdown and it takes one of those verses within the scriptures and just dig super deep into it. So it's easier for the reader to visually see like, okay, this is what this word means. This is why it means this in this context. This is, you know, who this person was talking to, all of that. And it just kind of, I would love to do it with the whole Bible, but that would literally take many lifetimes because there's so many verses, but it's just super cool to be able to do it and um, just really meditate on the original interpretation in order for mm -hmm. me to properly apply scripture. Yeah. Um, one of the key questions in here that I really wanted to make sure um, stayed in there and was featured essentially, um, is in light of what you learned and observed, how can you apply this to your life and, or how should you respond to the Lord? Um, and I think there's a distinction between how to apply it and how to respond, because mm. we have to remember that not everything in scripture, we will be able to apply to our life in our current season, or maybe ever, right? right. Some scripture is prescriptive, which means that it tells you what to do, or it's descriptive, which just tells you what happened. Um, and a lot of times we can't apply those descriptive things to our life, but everything in scripture tells us something about the Lord and then mm. we can then respond to him in a certain mm. way. And so um, one of the big things, and that's usually right after the verse breakdown, um, my biggest hope is that people will see these scriptures in their proper context and after they've reflected on them, go in and be able to then apply it to their lives properly um, or respond to the Lord however they feel the scripture tells them they should do that. And so yeah. um yeah, that's essentially the book. It's 25 days. I, I'll, I'm not gonna lie. I don't do it every single day because there is a lot. So if it takes you a couple of days to get through one entry, totally fine. <laughs> um, because there can be a lot. Um, but it, I'm finding it for me, even though I wrote it and this is not just like a sell for real, like there are some days where I'm like, I don't know what to read. I don't know what to do. And so I'll flip mm -hmm. this open and it's just a really good place to ground mm -hmm. me in scripture and be like, okay, this is what the devotional says, but then this is what scripture says. And this is how I can then walk through it and meditate on it. And it's just been, I mean, it's been a really good resource for me. And I wrote the thing. <laughs> this is awesome. So. No, I love that. Um, and would you say, okay, so I already can tell that for someone who has, you know, walked with the Lord, you know, I've been a Christian for 35 years. Like I'm excited. I know that this will be helpful for me to reflect. And I think we all need like that. Just sometimes someone holding our hand a little bit and being like, start here or consider this, or here's a familiar passage, but did you think about it in this way? Um, would this also be, um, appropriate, helpful for someone who like is brand new to Bible reading? Yeah, I definitely think so. Um, specifically because of the introduction. And so yeah, yeah. when I was writing this, I very much uh, wanted to make sure that when somebody started on day one, they were not completely lost. So the first, it's like 16 pages, go in depth about what the Bible is, what it is not, uh, you know, why we study the Bible, why it's important and all of that. So if you are a brand new believer, brand new Bible studier, not a believer and are just interested in reading the Bible and getting to know the Bible a little bit more, see what's going on. Um, 
it's a great place to start because I, my goal was to set anybody up for success as they went through this. So whether you are brand new and have never owned a Bible in, Bible in your life, you don't even really need to own a Bible. Like I would love you to own a Bible, but you don't have <laughs> right. to have a Bible in order to do this study because the scripture is in there on purpose. Um, so no matter where you are, if you're brand new or if you've been doing studying the Bible for a really long time, uh, this resource is one that's going to be really good and it's going to set you up for success because of the way that I intentionally set it up for that, you know? Uh, and that yeah. was something that was really important to me because part of, if I'm saying the Bible doesn't have to be scary and it's accessible to everybody, uh, to just start people off with these tough scriptures is not conducive to that <laughs> mission at all. Right. So I want to make sure that it is accessible and that by the time you start day one, even if you're a little like, I'm not sure what I'm doing, uh, yeah. you'll have a better like foundation just to kind of know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie, thank you so much. I'm so, um, I'm so proud of the work that you're doing. I'm so grateful for the work that you're doing. Um, friends like cannot recommend this enough. Um, Whatever is true and lovely, brand new devotional guy by C Carrie Cristancho. Um, it is available now on dayspring.com, Amazon, wherever books are sold. This would be um, a great gift for you and for a friend. Um, and be sure to go over to Encourage and you can enter to give a you will not give away a copy. We will give away a copy. We will give away a copy to a winner. So make sure that you go and read um, Carrie's article this week on Encourage. Um, and leave a comment. Um, Carrie, where can people find you and connect with you? Yeah. So Instagram is definitely the best way to find me and connect with me. Uh, so just at true and lovely co on Instagram. I also do have a website, true and lovely co.com. That's just kind of like a home base. There's some blog posts there, but, uh, there's not that many. So, uh, don't go there for blog content because most of my content is going to be on Instagram. Uh, but I have all my favorite links and stuff all on uh, my website, but yeah, you can, you can email me if you want true and lovely co at Gmail, or just message me on Instagram. If you want to get in touch, um, I do respond to my messages, believe it or not. A lot of people don't nowadays, but I definitely do. So if you have a question or just like need a link for something or need a recommendation, just let me know. I am more than happy to give that. Um, but yeah, Instagram's the best way. That's awesome. We, we like hanging out on Instagram too. So guys, make sure you go. I know that you'll be really encouraged by following true and lovely co and getting to know Carrie more and, um, friend. I'm so grateful to have, be, have you a part of the day spring family and thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Bye guys.